Hey, this is David French, member of the Buckeye United Fly Fishers Club. And I recently was fixing my mother-in-law's uh, cabinet drawers. Went to Walgreens, purchased some Gorilla Glue, and saw this new Gorilla Glue, glue product called Quick Cure. And it does dry white and sometimes dries clear also. And so I thought I'd experiment with making some different bodies. It's very easy to use, very quickly to dry. It's endless the amount of types of flies you can make. And they do float because they're somewhat like a styrofoam. Uh, so I'll get some close-ups here too. The ant bodies work fantastic. You could make beetles, caddis. It just seems endless what you can make with these. So I'm going to show you basically how to start the process, how to make the bodies, and tie a fly. Okay, now that I have things set up, I take a little bit of water, and I'm using wax paper because the glue will not stick onto the wax paper. Take the glue. Take a toothpick, mix it up. The water actually activates the glue to start it bubbling. It will bubble if you don't use any water. The less water, the less it bubbles. Mix it up nice. It starts to expand pretty quickly. Now you have to be careful here. You're just making small bodies. The fresher this glue is, the more it wants to run. It really doesn't take long for it to set up. Go put just a little more in front. Keep it away from the, the eye of the hook. If it does get in there, you can take a needle, open it up. I will come back and look at this. Okay, it's been about five or ten minutes, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and color these bodies with some markers. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put our thread on. And put our legs on. And that's one of the ants flying. Put your um, thread around your hook, tie in some hackle, get your glue ready. I don't know what you would call this fly. And palmer that hackle around through the glue and tie it off which isn't so easy with this video camera right here and if the eye fills up don't worry about it you can always push that glue back and put a hole back in there
once the glue sets up, you can always mold this a little bit, pushing the body into a better shape if you need to, creating a little more hook gap. And then you can use markers and color it. Dry it a little bit, you can go ahead and squeeze the body down, flatten it out if you wish to, and uh, basically shape it. You have to be careful of the hackle. I'm more concerned about the hook gap, more important to me. And then let it dry a little bit longer and then you can go ahead and color it with your markers. Okay, I think it's dry enough, so we'll go ahead and paint this red. This stuff takes marker colors really, really well. Let that dry for a minute. Take some black and maybe put some spots on it. And just drip it on a piece of thread. Okay, here are the uh, little bodies that uh, I was able to put on and uh, you can just pull them right off and then it's very easy to just take a uh, pin needle pierce the body now that the body is on there put a little thread base down take your super glue Put a little bit on there on the thread base and slide that body back on top where you'd like it to be positioned. And then let it dry. Once it's dried, you can make the different type of fly that you'd like. Well, that completes the little video series on making the Gorilla Glue fly. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I've had a lot of fun experimenting, making different types of bodies, and seeing um, the endless types of flies that this product actually can be used for. I'm sure there's many more creative minds out there than mine that can come up with some pretty neat flies. Thanks very much.